Alright guys, here for the third part of this syringe making tutorial. So uh, now that we have all this here, let's go ahead and start on this part here with the needle. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take this here, box select this here, uh, shift D, P, separate it, go ahead and select this here. So we'll go ahead and scale this up some. We can actually uh, get rid of this center vertex here, select the edge loop here. And we'll bring this right about there. Maybe scale it down some. Now we'll go ahead and press E to extrude on the X. Uh, oops, on the X. Right about there. That's good. So now what we'll do is, uh, here it kind of just goes into these uh, little um, divot points, or whatever you want to call it, but these little, uh, little mountain pieces. I don't know what to call it, sorry. I'll just shut up. But uh, we need to extrude here once, and then scale down a little bit, extrude out again, extrude, and immediately scale down, and just keep doing this process. Okay, so now we'll take this here, scale it out further, about there, and then make a little even smaller point there and uh, scale it down a little bit here and then we'll just go ahead and press E to extrude scale it down to the size of the needle and then scale it on the X inside okay so now we have that smooth select all uh, recalculate the normals let's go ahead and add our edge loops now so let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to add um, the edge loops here towards the end parts of these because uh, as you can see at the end it's rounded off so I'm just going to keep it here on these little portions and just for the sake of variety we're going to give this one some sharpness here I'm going to add a little cup in here make that nice and narrow as it is okay loop cut here We'll cut here. Oh, this, that looks good. Uh, we'll cut there. And some more loop cuts here. And another loop cut inside here. Okay. Um, let's add a loop cut right here just so it's not as bland. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take some of these loops here. We can just bring them out just a little bit. Okay. Uh, now, I'm just going to top you here. Let's bring this back a little bit more. So what we're going to do here is going to press B to box select. Take these five, five edges. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. And uh, make sure you don't have back face occlusion on for this so we can get both sides. So we're going to bring it back to about there. And then we're going we're gonna to press B and hold Alt and left click and drag these points. Because if we just um, shift right click to deselect them, then the bottom uh, vertices will still stay selected. And we'll just go ahead and make this a uh, rounded off point. Oops. Okay. And just right there. And then we get that effect that we have here. And then we'll just take this here, press E to extrude, and we'll press scale, but not on the Z, not on the X, we'll press shift X to right about there, and then we'll press E to extrude on the X to make it go in a little bit. And then like we've been doing, add another loop, add another loop, whoops, why did that happen? That was weird. Control E, edge slide, hmm, that's, that's really strange. Uh, okay. Let's try that one more time. Bring that in there. Hmm. Uh, I guess what we have to do here is just uh, press S slide and slide this one down. And then uh, add the edge loop there. And then just select these two and press S, Shift X, and bring it back up. Strange. Let's see if we can do that one more time because we do need that edge. Oops, wrong. Okay, there we go. That was a weird glitch. 
but Blender 2.5 is still in its alpha stage, so I'm not complaining. I can't wait for the beta release. I'm sure many people can't wait for that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and select this inner loop here for the needle. Press Shift D. Make sure you duplicate, otherwise you're just separating the actual vertex that's joined with everything. Let me see how much time we have left. Okay. Now I'll just select this for the needle. Scale it in. Let's press Shift C to center the cursor. Okay. Well, anyway, scale that down. Okay. It's getting a little crowded, so let's just move this in a little bit. Oops. Since we're not using it as much. We can uh, get rid of the toolbar, actually. Because I still need to look at this for needle size. So let's go ahead and bring this in a little bit. And then we'll just... Uh, Put it on the x-axis, and that might be a little too long. Right there, seems like seems like a good needle size. Let's bring this in some more. Uh, okay. Add a loop cut. Uh, press T to bring up the tool shelf again. Smooth. Select all. Control N. Okay, now to make the needle tip is really easy. All you have to do is um, select this, press E to extrude on the X axis. Let's go ahead and add a loop cut here. Okay. And then what we can do here is press this here. Take these up here, press uh, O to turn on uh, proportional editing. Scale it in to right about there. Actually, let's take this. Uh, turn proportional editing off. Move this out some, and now turn proportional editing, and then just take these up here. And do it like this, like that. And then take these, uh, these two here. Just, uh, actually, it's a uh, them over like so, add a loop cut, take it, smooth once, and then we'll just uh, extrude it in. S shift X, oops, S shift X to include the X axis, and then E S, E X, and then we'll just uh, add our necessary edge loops here. Make a nice sharp needle point. Actually, edge slide this a little bit. It's a little too close. Okay, so now another loop here. Maybe another one here. Or not another one, but uh, edge slide it. Oops. Oh, that's as close as it goes. Uh, so cool. See how we're looking here. Let's go ahead and select all of these, or just select everything except the camera light and middle portion here. Huh. Oops, just uh, we can box select them off. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and give all of this a new texture. There we go. And we'll call this one metal. So this is a, this is what the metal. Uh, they're all gonna have this metal texture anyway. So let's make sure they all have it. No, they don't. Metal. Metal. Does this one have it? Yeah. Everything. So this one got it. So let's uh, press X. Because I want to make sure that uh, uh this one has a different color. So just for the time being, we'll go ahead and make metal a grayish color. Just so we can have a little differ differentiation. Metal. 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 And metal. Okay, we are we're looking pretty good. Alright, so that's it for this part, and be sure to watch the next part, and in the next part we'll fish finish up all the modeling. And after that, we'll go into the textures. 
So, all right, guys, thanks.